It's a big day for the Haddock family here at Vandermeer Speedway as Jenna Haddock makes her top fuel debut. Her husband Terry is racing in the funny car. And Terry, let's uh, start with you. How big of an undertaking has this been to get Jenna licensed and out here? You know, Jen's been driving that dragster for a couple years. She's done an outstanding drive job driving, so getting her license wasn't so hard. But Don Schumacher sold us a car a couple weeks ago, and we built the car on the road in the last couple weeks. And thanks to them and the fab shop and everybody made it happen, that was a difficult part. But I want to say I'm so proud of her. I can't believe the job that she's doing. She listens good. I want to thank all the sponsors, Patriot Grading, Lucas Oil, DePinto International, DJ Safety, Clevite. Without all these people believing in us and giving us a chance to chase our dreams, we couldn't be here. So thank Thank you. So Jenna, what is going through your mind right now as you get ready to strap in? I'm just really trying to stay calm. You know, like the Sarge is a big opponent and I'm honored to get to race against him. So I'm just trying to keep my cool and do my thing. She's going to try and do her thing. And as she mentioned in the first round, she's got a tough mountain to climb against Tony Schumacher. Yeah, and that matchup just a couple pair of ways. It is a debut weekend at Vandermeer Speedway for Jenna Haddock. She gets set to make her first ever start in NHRA Melly Yellow Drag Racing competition in just moments. A nervous time, not only for Jenna, but also for her husband, Terry, as we found out when we wired them earlier this weekend. Are you proud, Dad? Dad, yeah, that's my wife. That's your wife? Yeah, so I'm doubly proud. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little tight in there. Break, break, break. Tell mommy you love her. Love you too. Take your time, pay attention, okay? The only thing I can't do is after you back up, flip the visor down. When Scott comes past the car, he's gonna open the little door, turn the air bottle on, so I'm gonna turn this on now for you. You're out there, if anything feels funny, you talk to me on the radio, and I'll tell you what to do. Like sometimes if the reverser gets stuck in it, and I have to stick my hand in there, I don't wanna get road over, so you listen to me and you talk to me. Let's get this first one out of the way so I can stop being nervous. to be a shut-off. <laughs> uh, were you nervous? Yes, I was nervous. <laughs> it's hard watching someone you love do this. Great job, baby. <laughs> Great, 1878 to the 16th. Oh, Boy, Jenna's dad sure is proud, isn't he? <laughs> dad! I, I caught that. Come on, Dave. Don't be picking on us hey, old guys. He's doubly proud, and well he should be, because Jenna has done a great job this weekend. That is an old Antron Brown car retrofitted with a Tony Schumacher canopy. And how about this for numbers? Tony's 996th round of racing, her first. So you're saying she, she doesn't quite have the experience as the, the machine over the other lane. I'm just saying. Talking to a Tony Schumacher's crew chief, Mike Green, he says they're going to be very, very cautious all day long until the clouds roll in. He says what the car's tuned for right now is the mid-390s, just trying to get it down the racetrack. And you heard Mark Ogle said they were trying to run a 390. That's yeah. kind of what we're seeing. So uh, the 89 by Doug Coletta, low ET of the round thus far. If anybody beats it, it probably won't be by much. Perhaps the stat of the weekend, Tony's first number one since Pomona, the beginning of the year last year. Wow. Schumacher! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Dad's so proud. Maybe cautious wasn't the route Tony Schumacher, Mike Green, and the rest of his team should have gone. Oh, Jenna Haddock got man. A to B better than the seven-time top fuel champion in her first race ever. Terry Haddock running back to the I just funny car, but I don't think he cares right now about anything but what just happened there. You saw Jenna with a cylinder out the head of the throttle, actually a little bit out of ways, and then Tony Schumacher smoked the tires right after that. There's the cylinder going out, Tony Schumacher started smoking the tires, and now even on seven cylinders, Jenna was able to drive around. Nice job. It's got to go down as one of the greatest upsets in drag racing history, and what a great debut for Jenna Attic. I think everybody's taking a moment to try to process what they just saw there. You know there's going to be upsets on the mountain, but you didn't perhaps expect that one, Jamie. And Terry Haddock is out of breath as if he just made that run. Terry, watching Jenna take out the Sarge, what does that mean to your family? What's this like? It means a round, man. It means a bigger check. It means thank you to all the sponsors. Patriot Gating, uh, 
the Pinto, Clevite, Lucas Oil, DJ Safety, everybody that lets us be here. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I'm so proud of my wife. She's the best student we've ever had teaching to drive. She did an awesome job. I don't know what to say except for I gotta go run my car. Go find it. And here at the top of the mountain, we're waiting for Jenna to get that helmet off. She is dancing in delight. It is the first time to go side by side in eliminations. So young woman, turn around here, face this camera and tell America and the world what it's like to live a dream. It's amazing. I cannot believe I'm here and this has just been an amazing weekend. I can't thank Schumacher and all of them for making this happen. Patriot greeting, Demento International, everybody who's gotten us here. My husband, I love you. Thank you. And now you got to get ready to I do it again. Ready. We'll see how that goes. Indeed we will. Congratulations. Yeah. Makes me wonder if the Don's not maybe second thinking. Maybe I should have given that car. I sold it to him, right? I should kept that one. It didn't smoke tires. Whew. Wow. <laughs> well, right now, all eyes are on Bob Vandergriff and Spencer Massey. With Jenna Haddock. Spencer Massey's had a very Griffin. good car up here in the past, but this weekend has not been the case. Bob Vandergriff, though, has looked pretty good. Well,